What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back with another video. I know I have not been uploading every single day, but that's because the holiday season. And I've honestly been running out of stuff to upload. So let me know if you have any ideas. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how I passed a, not even passed, I actually got a payout with a 93% win rate on a uh, on top step. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. There is an Apex 80% offset right now. The accounts are very, very cheap. This is only lasting for, I think, four days. And honestly, they have not been doing as many discounts as usual. And I don't know when they're going to do the next 90% off. Probably not for a while. So I would recommend getting a few for sure. Um, and yeah, just it's a great, great, it's the best possible way to practice my inversion model um, That because they're so cheap. And, and if you pass, then you get funded, right? So it's just, it's a win-win. Um, so click the link in the description. Type in code DOGGY for a discount. Um, and yeah, so I recently passed a prop firm account, a top step 50K account, and I got a payout on it. All right. So here are the stats. All right. So I'm going to kind of be going over these real quick. And this is not a huge pool of trades, but that doesn't matter. You don't need 15 years of data for this. All you need is a payout. I don't care if you if you're if it's profitable for 15 years or not. It's it, even though it is, all you need is a payout. That's if you get the payout, that's you you won. You win it life. You win the you win the the account, right? You get the payout. So that's your guilt goal. And you can see I never had a single red day, right? I'm I'm green here, 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 here. And then I meet a thousand dollars. And you need five winning days at 200 plus. So what I actually did was Every single trade I took, I it was a one-one trade. I risked two hundred dollars to make two hundred dollars. Now you can risk a hundred dollars to make two hundred dollars if you want, but the problem with that is top step, which is why I hate it. Um, it only allows you to take two micros or two minis, so you really can't like risk a hundred dollars. It's just it's very it's a, you'd be risking five points and. Yeah, you just can't risk five points. That's impossible almost. Um, I feel like 10 points is a good to risk. Here's the win rate on the account. Okay, so 93% win rate. Average winning trade, $105. Average losing trade, $96. So this is the stats and the average profitability of trade was 76. And that was because one time I made 185 and I had to get in two micros and make like 15 or whatever it was. So that's why that's down. But you can see average winning trade 105, average losing 96. So nice solid RR, 93% win rate. All right. So what I did is every single day I I put in a market order. So I look for a inversion setup. Okay. So I'm looking all I'm looking for is some sort of um inversion. And I'm literally looking for a any 10 point move off an inversion. Okay, so the play I took today was this right here. So we have a bullish river valley gap. We clearly see a price is holding it. We have a our manipulation. Our this is actually this is jolts. This was news. So we manipulate above the high. Okay, it was very quick, and then we got an SMT with ES. So basically, ES actually took out this high right here, but NQ never did. So this was our manipulation. Like we got our SMT here. And then when we violate this, I'm doing a 10 point stop, 10 point take profit, and I'm entering on the close. So my 10 point stop would be right here. Okay. So if price hits that, I get out and my 10 point take profit would be right here. Okay. And you can see the 10 point take profit. It might not even be a low, right? Because if I'm going for $200 days, five to $200 days in a row, it does not have to be a, it does not have to be a low. Okay. Um, all you need is $200. So what I'll do is I'll literally just target a little, I'll target like a tick or two past $200. So I'll go for like 205 just in case of slippage or the fill. So that's all I'm doing. And I'm all doing it based on inversion setups. Now let's say there's an inversion setup where the stop loss is massive. Okay. Let me see. I don't know if I can find an example for you guys. Um, Okay, let's say, for example, here. Okay, we inverse this last night, and you can see we close below it. Well, what if the, what if it's like a giant inversion, and we could easily do like this? Well, then, then I won't take it. It has to be a small enough inversion where, at least half of it, and I'll consider consider this half. At least half of it has to be, ten points or less. 
because if an inversion works, we probably won't retrace to at least half of it. Usually that's the case. So I felt comfortable enough taking the inversion this morning. Okay. Because again, the stop loss, like a normal stop loss would be like this. And that's close to 10 points. It's not quite 10 points, but the 10 points would be here. And you have to judge it based off momentum. Are we getting a lot of momentum through a failed bullish reveal gap? Well, we were. We got a big red candle here, decent size here, decent size here. So does the market look like it looks like it wants to retrace up? No. So this is a fine 10 point trade to take. Now, the trade I took yesterday to uh, pass this account and get a payout on it. Okay. So the play I took yesterday, the 10 point play I took yesterday was another inversion model. Okay. So if we look at yesterday's open, okay, if I go back to yesterday's open, um, we had a, another bullish reveal. I get that held price and we ended up breaking it. And because of this momentum, same ideas today, because of this momentum, a 10 point stop loss there made sense. The 10 point stop, if you enter on the candle close would be three, five, which would be right here, which would which would be above the open as order block. And because momentum, do you really think price is going to hit above there? No. So does this make sense to take? Yes. And we'd equal lows below. And remember, you don't have to hold for the equal lows, but in this situation, you would have had to because the one to one or the 10 point take profit is right there. So you can see, I'm just taking one to one trades. I'm risking $200 to make 200. And I'm not going to do it with inversion where the stop loss is going to be way up here. That just doesn't make sense. Or at least the halfway point. Like if it if, if 10 points is about the halfway the point of the inversion, then that's fine. It just we have to have a lot of momentum going through it because most of the times, if the momentum ones, we will not retrace up. All right. So um one more example would be something like this. Okay, this is another good example. Again, the last bullish for value gap breaks. The stop loss here would be 10 points, so 15, 25. So the stop loss here would actually be above the inversion. So this is probably the best one that I've seen. So the stop loss here would be above the inversion. And then again, you're just targeting wherever the 10 point points would be. And it does not have to be a low. You do not have to hold to a low. You just need 10 points. So if you can do this and repeat this five times in a row, then you're do you're going to do fine. Now, let's say you have one losing day. Well, if you trade my inversion model properly, one or two losing days is fine, but the chances you have five losing days in a row are very highly unlikely. Okay. If you go for a one-to-one, -one, just 10 points, you will probably get this. Okay. So if I go back to the stats, all right, you need to see, um, very consistent, no red days. Um, I think this day I, I ended up making like 15 bucks. I think I made like 185 and then I took it back to, to 15. So I was like, okay, I'm done. And then this day I ended up finishing it. So that is how I pass an account with a 93% win rate. Um, if you're doing an apex account, what I recommend doing is again, you could do the same thing. You just need 10 days. So you could risk 200 to make 200, but you don't need $200 a day in an apex account. You can do whatever you want. So you could risk a hundred to make a hundred. So let's say you're taking like five micros or, or five micros, or, or let's say even one micro. Um, you could risk 20 times two, 40. You could risk, um, if I go to calculate the risk here. Okay. Let's say I'm on a micro chart. And by the way, this is how you calculate risk. So if I go to MNQA 2044 and you only want to risk a hundred dollars, all you have to do is short, right click this, click, uh, I think you double click this. Let me see. Yeah. You, you double click it. And you do, what do you want to risk? Okay. You risk a uh, hundred dollars, let's say hundred dollars. And then it will, whatever you do, create limit order. It will put in the amount of, um, it will put in the amount of contracts that would only risk a hundred dollars. So that's what you can do. All right. And what I do is just, you have to be very mechanical about this. You can't change it up. You have to just do a hundred dollars for a hundred take profit. Okay. And you will probably, if you know how to do my inversion model properly from my videos, if you watch my strategy, if you go to my playlist and watch my strategy, the chances you lose five trades in a row is very unlikely. So you don't have to target a higher low. You just need a one-to-one. -one. Okay. That's fine. Um, but yeah, this is an easy way to pass. And especially in top step where you need to make the $200, I would risk 200 to make 200. Okay. It's the easiest way to do it. So 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, make sure to get those Apex accounts as well. Again, they only have three days or four days left. I think actually, you know, I think three days left. So get some accounts and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. L let me know if you have any questions in my Discord and yeah, peace out.